Hey everybody, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing a review of the St. Petersburg White Knights palette. I got a pretty good response um, from my first uh, the uploads here to YouTube. They were the watercolor comparison video and I did kind of go into this love fest about these watercolors and I kind of want to dive into why that is. Not only that, but I really haven't found that many reviews about them online. As I did say in my watercolor comparison video, the only reason that I know about these colors is from an amazing tattoo artist who calls herself Sasha Unisex. She is fantastic. You may not recognize her name, but her tattoo style is kind of world famous, and if you saw it, I think you'd know immediately. So why don't you go ahead and check her out, because she's the whole reason I found these babies. So I went ahead, and <laughs> it's all lopsided. I really recommend doing this, so I made a little swatch palette, and then I put Velcro on the back. Fancy ass bitch. This way, all my watercolors kind of their little swatch fit to their fit to their size and stick with them. So I recommend doing that. Um, let's go ahead and start out with the packaging. The packaging is really a big con in my eyes. It's cheap. It's plasticky. I know. Well, obviously, it's plastic. Emily, hello. I know they are making new, like the formulas improved, and apparently the plastic's a little bit nicer. But this from what I can tell is really awful. I hate to say it, it's huge and clunky. They are full pan, so it makes sense for it to be so large, but what I recommend to do is this. I ordered from Jackson's Art Supply in the UK, I ordered a, oh, I can move that. I ordered just an empty, like, Schminka tin. It's not actually Schminka, it's their brand, because I'm not fucking paying $40 for something that looks like a lunchbox I can get at the dollar store. This was about, I think, $10, $15. What I ordered was a 24 pan set, and I was a fucking idiot, and I read 24 and just ordered this. This is 24 half pans, so it really only fits 12 of the full pans. Um, that's what I would recommend doing is getting a 48 half pan tin to fit the 24 full pans. It's a little, it's not confusing. It's just, it's just a lot of words for me. Back to the packaging. It sucks. Back to why it sucks. The plastic is so cheap, it stains. Now I'm going to open it. And again, some of these pans are not in here. It's hard to open. Let me just try to open it here in the camera. These are my titties. Great being a woman. Um, as you can see, so the black is not in here. I took some of the pans out, put them in the tin pan. Uh, the black is actually, the neutral tint is, isn't really a neutral tint. It's just a pure black. It's like a cool black, so it's really not neutral. It does stain. Sorry for my nasty nails. They're in between painting. It's plastic, a really poor plastic. Breaks very easily. It is not travel friendly. It stains. I do not recommend keeping your paints in this bad boy. That's all I'm saying. So they do use real pigment. Don't let the price fool you. It feels like the St. Petersburg brand. They're not really talking themselves up. It's just kind of like a word of mouth thing almost. I do not have the original packaging as I got these a little over a year ago, um, but they do have the 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 number and the letter and the, where the pigments are, you know, what the pigments are. They're beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely worth every fucking penny. My only complaint is some of the colors are very granular. They are almost to a fault, like Mars Brown, typically a little bit, you know, in between in the middle. And, and the one, the Mars Brown that I received was incredibly granular. Another complaint, again, that I think is just to my box that I received, there was like sand, sand, like a packaging sand almost all throughout my box that I received in this guy. It was just, the sand was kind of just wedged in these little places and when I opened the colors, there was like a dusting of sand on top. I got these from Amazon, so it very well could be just the Amazon distribution center and it was just something going on with that. Ah! Uh. These watercolors are incredibly pigmented. They will jump on your brush. So I kind of think I touched on this before. Just be a little careful because um, you will get way more pigment than you're expecting. Way more pigment than you're expecting. Especially if you do as you should do, which is pre-moisten the pans before you use them. Some of the colors 
unfortunately were disappointing and the two colors that I felt like eh, pretty much let me down the most were the cobalt blue and the ultramarine blue. The ultramarine was not in the pan. It wanted to kind of come out. It wasn't sticking to the pan and that's usually completely fine. You just add a little water and as you use it, it sticks and it wouldn't stick. The other color that was a massive letdown was the cobalt. It was, oh my gosh, it just would not adhere to my brush. It, it, it just, it was a huge letdown. It was super light and it was it wasn't like a true cobalt which still is light um, not quite as vibrant and rich as the ultramarine um, but th this one was just like come on bra that was a huge problem with me but you know what every other color gorgeous beautiful vibrant oh my shit I feel like I'm at the Academy Awards and I'm like and the nominee goes to May Green, everybody, come on down. This color is so nice. <laughs> Here's your shit. So yellow green, this color is gorgeous. It's fantastic. It's so, if you are into floral painting, this thing is gonna knock you on your ass. It's gorgeous. I cannot believe how beautiful it is. That's a beautiful, very unique color um, because it's, I've never seen a yellow green like this. It's not like that May sap green, like that really sappy May green. It's like almost like, I think I made the joke that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle green. It's like that, but like more rich, a little bit more blue, beautiful. And then another color, I'm not really a huge green person, but this green, ah! <laughs> it's just such a unique green. It's, it's gonna be the Russian green. That and these are Russian watercolors, so it's like jerk off your own country, why don't you? This green is amazing, beautiful, deep, rich. I keep saying rich. Clearly, I know I what I want to mate. I want to be rich. Daddy, take care of me. This beautiful. Um, it, it's almost like a warm green when you start to thin it out with water. Gorgeous. Emily, can you fucking use some other words? Ape. Absolutely fantastic. I sing nothing but high praise this Jesus. Sing it with me now, Lord. That Russian green. That Russian green. Am I back to reality? There goes gravity. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You need this color in your life. My God. <laughs> this is really good. Another like round of applause for a color that kind of took me by surprise is their sepia. I usually like to mix my own brown, but this sepia is knockout, man. Like it's great. So I highly recommend the, the sepia. Of course, violet. Always love violet. Okay. Enough with the Academy Awards of Colors. Let's continue on with the review. Kind of what I said at the beginning of the video, if you have been doing watercolors for a few years, few months, whatever, if you have the budget, do it, and you wanna transfer into the professional realm, but you don't wanna be spending upwards of a couple hundred dollars to be making a palette, get these guys. They're totally worth it. Um, and even if you're a professional, just, Use them, they're fantastic. They blend, that's another thing. They mix absolutely beautifully. The, the colors do not get muddy. The price is right. I just, I can't sing high praises enough for these watercolors as beginning professional watercolors or traveling watercolors for professionals. Whatever you wanna do, these things are fantastic. I did try mixing them with other brands. They mix totally fine. Again, a lot of these are single, fuck me. So to recap, ditch the packaging, go to Jackson's Art Supplies if you want like a affordable tin, in affordable tin, not a uh, uh, ink, uh, affordable. Go to Jackson's Art Supplies if you want an affordable tin to carry everything in. Pigment, single pigment, beautiful mixes. They mix gorgeously. A couple colors are a little off. Um, they are open stock. I didn't mention that before, but they are open stock on, I believe, Dick Blick. And then on Amazon, they have a few colors. And then, of course, their main website. So let's talk about the price. The price, oh my God, you cannot beat the price. 
And this is again why I'm a little skeptical. I mentioned it a couple times. You're probably here because of the price and you're looking at it being like, there's no way I'm gonna get 24 colors of single pigment, beautiful watercolors. I'm gonna get a satchel of donkey fur. This, this is worth it. It's worth the $60 and I know to some it's very expensive and to others it's not. In the watercolor realm, $60 is nothing and it, it I am so sad to say watercolor is such an expensive medium to get into um, even for some of the student quality paints it's just like fuck me are you trying to compete with my student loans what are you doing ah, get out of here buddy if you have the money go for it these motherfuckers are gonna last you years these are full luscious pens these are double D's right here in pants, pan form. My name is Emily Artful, and you guys stay out of trouble. <laughs> I don't know why I did that.